Hey guys, it's Wood here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2003 for race 2536 season one of the Career Mode. We're going to Darlington today. Last race was at Bristol, and it was a pretty bad race. Uh, I, I I wrecked myself trying to push the car a little bit too much and bit me in the ass. And I think we got like 40 seconds, so it was not a very um, it's not a very good race. So hopefully Darlington will be better. But considering how the first Darlington race went, where we got like 40 seconds. My expectations are pretty freaking low. Like they're about they're about here. I mean, I don't think you can see that, but it's very low. I mean, we got a better car since then, so maybe we can get a better finish. Also, R and D, we're three races away from the chassis tire grip. Once that comes in, we'll build a new chassis. Do that for three races because we got enough money to uh, do that. So, not worried about that. Just waiting it out. So without further ado, I'm going to get into the race, show you qualifying, set up, and do qualifying. I, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Here's the setup for today's race. For the most part, it's the same as the reference site. I think the only thing I left alone was the suspension. I don't know what in the hell to do with that. The, the track's really, really freaking bumpy, so I, I'm just going to leave it as is. It's, I don't know. Gear ratio, we kind of messed around with it, so this is what it looks like, so... Um, I'm just going to get into qualifying, I'm going to see where we start here, and hope we're going to be on the inside line, because that would be the preferred lane here as well. Turn for the first lap is a 29.5. This one should be a little bit better, and it is a 29.2, and we'll get 16th. <laughs> All right. Def I'm going to change the gear ratio just a little bit for fourth. I'm just going to lower it down, I think, by one, because it was a little bit too fast. I have to factor in the draft and everything, so I don't want to max out the RPM. So we're going to bump that down to to 116. That should be perfect. So. Without further ado, let's just uh, get into the race and I, I guess expect a okay run. I, I don't know. Jimmy Johnson and Rusty Wallace are up in the front row. Let's get the Southern 500 underway. Three, two, one. Green flag's out. I'm scared because I know they slow down and yeah, they do. Oh, okay. I predicted that perfectly. <laughs> sort of. We hit the back of Kyle Petty, but yeah, everything's okay now. I was a little bit scary. I was going to say that they always seem to do that in the start of the race for whatever reason. So that's another reason why I want to get to the inside line. But uh, um, you kind of saw it, so I didn't have to tell you. But yeah, it's going to just. It's a long race. I really want to keep my car in relatively decent condition. For some reason, the car is actually pretty good in turn three. Or getting off of turn four. I don't know. But it's just. It's actually reasonable. So maybe if we can at least get that corner to work out just fine, we can hang on to a decent finish. But this is definitely one of the better cars we've had up to this point, so we'll just see what um, happens here. I, yeah, Purvis just drove right around me on the outside, so that's a little bit concerning, but I don't know. Just going through turn three here. Bobby Hamilton, hello. Okay, Ken Schrader. Oh, okay. All right. Bobby, I was going to say Bobby Hamilton's in his uh, 2001 Square D car, and that's actually pretty cool. I like that paint scheme. Just try to stay on the bottom here. And you know what? If we can, ooh, okay, all right, all right, okay. You know, if we can get 17th out of that race, this run, that'll be amazing. So, oh, please, car, okay. All right, let me just focus and and see what uh see if we can actually okay get into some sort of rhythm. <laughs> Yeah, I went in that corner a little bit too deep, and we lost two spots because of that, but I'm assuming uh, Dale Jr. was going to get by me eventually, but yeah, I just messed up that corner just a little bit, pushing the car just a wee bit too much. Should have not have done that, but because now we got a little bit of OCD triggering because the back bumper of the car is all messed up, so that's lovely. Dale Jarrett's this far back too. I don't know um, how that happened. Normally he qualifies okay, but... No, all right, well, he's just going to drive around me on the outside like I'm standing still. 
We just need to get through this corner well and just get a decent run off, and we should be able to clear him because our car actually has a decent exit speed. I don't know what, what it is, but it actually gets off the corner really well in four. I, I don't know how, but... We get 19th, so we gained uh, a position, which I think is the first time we actually gained a position in this race so far, which is amazing. Play Kyle Pay just a little bit dirty there again that position. I really didn't want to do it like that because up to that point it's been a really good battle for all those positions and we kind of lost a spot to Kenseth, which I'm not I shouldn't be shocked considering he was all over my ass for so many freaking laps. But yeah, so as far as pit strategy is concerned, I'm gonna do it on lap 17 going into 18. And that's really about my strategy. Ken Schrader's already head down pit road, so. Pretty solid first half, all things considered. Now we just got to hope that, you know, our pit crew do their job appropriately and we could bring bring it home in, like, top 25 finish or something as Scott Wimmer just drives around me, so it's... <laughs> oh, Lord, I don't know. I'm heading down Piro this time by 70 miles an hour. And... Oh, Robbie Gorn, hello. Okay. <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> We're not going to repair damage. There's nothing really to repair, so... Uh, four tires and fuel, and uh, we'll be out in the way. Ooh, ooh, that's gonna that's gonna fuck up the pit time quite a bit. Is it? Yeah, it's gonna fuck it up. Nineteen and a half seconds. <laughs> ooh. Ooh, that's that's gonna hurt. That's like two seconds we lost right there. That's um, that's really fucking frustrating. When I had at least a top 20, 25 car, and uh, and we get fucked. Well, I mean, we gained two spots. Uh, some people were leaving pit row. That's really why, but obviously, but ah, uh, it's just frustrating. It's just. I don't know. If we're going to be in 30 fucking ninth when this cycles through, which I don't think is going to happen, but I'm going to be very upset. Because I know I we had a, at least a, a, an average car. One that was not at least bottom of the freaking barrel. And as I say that, Jerry Nadeau is about to get by me and I just got it him like a jackass. So that's lovely. Um, I don't know. Some of these guys are just head out of pit road. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold any of them off. I mean, they're going to have way, way more fresher tires than me. So, I, I don't know. We're just going to really have to hope we can pass some people on actual uh, speed alone, because that's really the only way we're going to make up positions. I think. Oh my God! McMurray just drives around me on the outside like nothing. Just. It's frustrating because, like, the spring race, I was I got, like, 42nd, and then here I'm barely doing any better. Which is unfair because we first half we were doing so well. I don't know. I, I, I keep thinking in the back of my head that this is going to be a long career. But like, it's going to be well over three seasons before I can even get a championship. And that's not even factoring in. Like, we have to win first before we can do that. And... Somebody's blown a motor so we can get a free spot here, and that's Ricky Craven, and yeah, it is a free spot, so that's good. Um, I, I guess I forgot Jerry Nito got around me as well. I guess I wasn't paying attention. My brain's like, it just it just can't remember shit anymore, but I don't know. We're just going to have to try to hold off Kyle Petty and see what happens. I'm hoping we can. That would be nice to actually be able to fend off a position, but no, I guess not. It's too much to ask for in this race, really, so... What, what do I expect? Hello, Mark Martin. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We passed somebody for position. That's the second car we've passed in this entire race so far. First one was Casey Kane, and this one was Greg Biffle, so that's a... That's, that's fucking amazing, actually, so... 
Newman, just get by me. I just want to just, yeah, just you know, kind of bathe in the glory of gaining that track position because that's the first time I think I've done that. Um, I can't remember in terms of like, well, this race has been since I passed Casey King, which I just mentioned that. But th I'm gonna enjoy this. We only got a couple laps left to go. I'm just gonna enjoy this little victory because that's that's a big deal. White flags out for myself one more time around. Kind of just disappointed with this race. I'm just been trying to focus, just trying to concentrate and just hit my marks and everything. But able to pull away from Biffle, so that's something. It, it's just frustrating because I felt like we at least had a top 25 car easily, but the pit crew dropped the ball pretty damn hard. So we're just going to have to deal with a 38th place finish. Again, still better than the last uh, race we were here at Darlington, which we got 40 seconds. So it's an improvement, but nothing too spectacular. 38th. Ugh. Who won? Jimmy Johnson. Good shit. All right. So Mark Martin's second. Uh, I don't know where Dale Jarrett finished, but... Uh, Mark gained in the points, which he's in third, so that's interesting. Check our earnings, it should even be that much. Actually, I'm wrong. Okay, 303,000. That's almost as much as I got at uh, Bristol, which I finished worse there. But, oh, well, the earnings here is probably higher, because it's a bigger prestige race. But, I'm just curious where Dale Jarrett finished. So, he got, um... He got 10th, okay. So, he, uh... Definitely lost some points, I think, because I, I don't even know who's second. I know Mark's third. It might be Tony Stewart. I can't even remember. But, yeah. So, good GG for Jimmy. First crew win in this universe. Led 33 of the 36 laps. That's crazy. So. And, uh, Ricky Rudd, where'd he finish? I don't even know. Oh, okay. Okay, 27th. All right. All right. Let's check out this, the, the standings. Next race is Richmond. I don't know how that's going to play out. I mean, when we were there, we kind of cheesed a good finish by a set of circumstances. So I don't think that... If it happens again, we'll be shot. But I don't think it's going to happen a second time. But Check out the, out the garage, see if there's anything to repair. The one we have in the, the thing now is a 96. That's still better than what uh, we have currently. So we're going to stick with number 5. Chassis, the conditions 96, will put out the inventory. Still better, so I guess we're just going to keep the same stuff we have right now, so. Yeah, I really can't change anything. Because this is still the better stuff we have. Two more races on the chassis, so that's good. Um, and really nothing else would change there. Standings, uh, we're 25th in points. We dropped the position. I think Steve Park got around us, maybe. But yeah, we're dropping in points. Dale Jarrett's still the points hitter. Mark Martin now in second. 116 back. Junior 131. So I think Junior gained a little bit in points from Jarrett. But yeah, the points battle is mainly between four guys. Stewart's a, you know, officially one race behind everyone. So I think it's amongst the top four as of right now, statistically speaking. Well, technically, statistically speaking, we, yeah, personally, like, with over like 1,200 points would technically be eliminated. So that would be like Terry Labonte on backs. <laughs> but I'm just saying realistically speaking. But yeah, okay, Ricky Rudd dropped out of the top 10, so good job choking there. Bobby Labonte gets in the top 10, Rusty Wall's 11th, and Jimmy with his win moved up to 9th, and yeah, interesting. So I, I still think Jarrett's going to win, but he might win this championship somehow. I don't know I don't know how, but I think he will find a way somehow. And I think Gordon is uh, still winless, which is almost realistic to a 2002 season, ironically enough. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else to really... Really look at. We'll just see what happens at Richmond. Uh, anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like I always say, I do appreciate it. Love you back and support. All you guys, give me in the comment section below and as well as liking the video because it helps me out a lot in the long run. I'll see you all for the Chevrolet Monte Carlo 400. Carla? What? What did I say? Have Have a good day, everyone.